Preparing for a backpacking adventure can get a little expensive. There's a ton of things to buy, and especially food if you are sourcing all of it from your local REI or camp store can get a little pricey. So I have assembled some options that you can get at the grocery store to save a little money and to keep you eating well. Before we get into the video, please like and subscribe to our series here, our channel. We're trying to keep you educated, informed, and inspired, and we've got lots of videos about backpacking that will hopefully be blowing your mind and entertaining you along the way. Okay, I just got back from the grocery store because I spend a lot of time in the wilderness, and if you're like me, there's only so many meals that I can eat that are dehydrated meals. I like to switch things up a little bit, and I also like to stay regular, so eating some regular feeling food is a nice option as well. So backpacking meals that are dehydrated are super convenient. They are a really simple way to do backpacking meals, and if you're just getting started, they can keep things really easy, and I totally recommend them. They're delicious. But if you're gonna start spending a lot of time in the backcountry, it's really nice to know and have a few other options in your back pocket for what you can do and save a little bit of coin while doing it. So I just got back from the grocery store and I wanted to run through all of the things that I like to buy for my trips here. So let's start with uh, dinners. I'm gonna be going through some of my dinner options. I love these darn good chilies from Bear Creek. This is uh, essentially, it's just a soup, it's a chili, and it's really easy to make in a jet boil or in your one pot stove, uh, whatever that is. If you just have boiled these away, they are an awesome meal. And um, I guess before I get into too many things, I do wanna let you know the secret ingredient to almost all of these dinner meals that I have here selected are these, the are Adele's. Cajun style and dewy sausages. They are pre-cooked. I love backpacking with them. I pretty much use them in almost all of my meals. And if I'm making my own meals out there, then I totally will add one of these sausages in per night. So one of these packs of four usually is good for a backpacking trip. And I know that meat in the backcountry can be a little bit suspicious per chance. So if it's super, super hot out, maybe I will just bring these for maybe two nights. And then after that, I probably don't wanna do meat. But uh, if it's not super hot out, these are pre-cooked. They tend to last a long time and I found them to be really handy to just chop one up and add into a meal as a really delicious boost, uh, flavor boost for a meal. So one note about these, this is a lot of food. Uh, I typically break this into two meals. I'll put this into a Ziploc bag and I'll split it up into two meals. So just so you know, one of these says it serves eight and uh, it's a lot of food. So I typically break that up into two meals here. Next on my favorite list, uh, besides the darn good chilies, which I always make, I always make mac and cheese in the backcountry as well. I love taking Annie's mac and cheese out there with me, throwing in some Adele's and then throwing on some sriracha on top. This is a big bottle of sriracha. I don't carry a huge bottle of sriracha like this. I'll often put it into one of these smaller backpacking containers and then just add a little squirt onto the mac and cheese with this sausage. Maybe I'll bring a jalapeno, maybe a clove of garlic out there as well. If I'm really feeling like being a chef out there and you'd be amazed at how good it tastes out there. Another one of my favorites, and if I'm feeling to be a little bit more advanced on the scale, I totally recommend doing something like a pad thai. And it is awesome to do in the backcountry. So I will take these rice noodles and I will ditch the box and I will just put these in, to the, they're in a little plastic bag on the inside and I'll just take that. But then I love making my own peanut satay sauce. I will have my sriracha that I just brought with me. I'll take a scoop of peanut butter and I'll mix that into a pan or into my jet boil, add a little bit of water to kind of liquefy that peanut butter out a little bit. And that makes a delicious sauce on these noodles, especially when I combine it with a little bit of extra protein for a boost as well. Another thing that I really like having with me is just cheese and protein. I love having uh, a good snack on the trail that is something with a, some fat and some salt. So pepperonis are awesome. I love just being able to open up this package and to eat two or three pepperonis as I go. It's a really nice way to just kind of keep that uh, nutrition burst going, 
eating that salt and fat. It's good for energy and it tastes good and it's cheap and it's easy. And a lot of times for my lunches, I will just make a burrito out of cheese and pepperoni, throw in a little sriracha, and I've got a really delicious trail burrito and uh, I love it. So, and sometimes if I'm feeling spicy, I'll make a cheesy quesadilla at night. If I just got into camp, I will throw one of these over the fire with some cheese and some pepperoni, and man, it is so, so good. Pro bars are just kind of like your granola bar type thing that you can get from the grocery store. Some groceries don't carry pro bars, but I found them at like Sprouts and some other things like that. Um, but it doesn't have to be a pro bar. It could just be like Nature Valley bars. Those are great too. Decide, aside from the fact that they crumble everywhere, uh, but they're really delicious and it's great to just have a granola bar type thing. I love having tuna with me as well. Uh, just a spoon, making sure that you have a spoon to dig it out of there. But these pre-flavored tunas are actually surprisingly good. I know it can sound a little gross, and I said this before in another video, but a ranch flavored tuna, a sriracha flavored tuna, sounds kind of suspicious, but it's surprisingly good and I actually really like them. Um, and then Quaker oatmeal, just your breakfast. Uh, I love doing these. These are super cheap and easy. It doesn't get any cheaper than that. Uh, now the quality of nutri nutrition might be a little lacking, uh, but it's a good way to start the day for me. I like it, uh, especially if I combine it with a little scoop of peanut butter. It's a really good, easy breakfast to do while I'm drinking my coffee. Have a little bit of granola, maybe some almonds, and then I hate the trail. I like having some backup nutrition as well. So things like Top Ramen are really easy if I'm just feeling like, man, I just need something to really satiate my hunger, especially at the end of the day once I'm in camp. I might make a pre-meal before I get into making a full meal like this. Just cook up uh, a simple ramen or something like that. Uh, they're really easy. Uh, they taste good. They're satisfying. And then I always like to have a little bit of fruit with me as well, so apricots, maybe some dried pineapple, dried mangoes are awesome like that. But there is a ton of food that you can just get at the grocery store. And as I have spent more and more time in the backcountry, I almost always uh, now just cook meals that I just bought at the grocery store. They're just as easy and I really enjoy saving money, you know, so these are $2 a meal as opposed to $10, $12, $13 for the backpacking dehydrated meals. So there's definitely some room to save some money there. And then just one other note is I always bring with me Ziploc bags. Uh, they're useful for a million things. Sometimes I use them for uh, keep storing my toilet paper. But I also like to, aside from that, throwing trash away, I like to ditch all of the cardboard and all of the packaging on most of these things. Uh, I can get rid of a lot of this packaging and make sure that I, I just put them into a Ziploc before I go. And then that way I'm not carrying a whole lot of extra trash and it just packs down a little bit easier. Well, I've worked up a bit of an appetite talking about all this food. So I am going to say au revoir for now and go maybe make a nice little meal out of all of this food. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. Hopefully you found this interesting, entertaining. And uh, yeah, if you have ideas about stuff that you get at the grocery store uh, or things that I missed, uh, please let me know. Hit me up in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Eric Hansen. I'll see you later.